today I am here to explain you class 10th Maths Trigonometry Exercise 11.1 fifth question. So starting with it, if 3 tan a equals to 4, then find sin a and cos a. So starting with it, you have solution and given. Here they have given what if 3 tan a equals to equals to 4 then find sin a and cos a now here we know that 3 is multiplying with tan a when we transfer this 3 to the other side this becomes division so here the multiplication turns into division when we transform a unit to the other side thus we can write as tan we can write as tan a equals to tan a equals to 4 by 3. Here, let's represent a over here, b here, b and c as we got a, b, c where tan a, tan a equals to 4 by 3 as we know tan formula as opposite side by adjacent side opposite to the angle a you have the side bc where bc equals to 4 adjacent side to the angle a you have the side ab where ab equals to 3 now hence here they asked to find sin a and cos a but here, to find sin A, opposite to the angle A, you have the BC value, the sine BC. So, BC equals to 4, but the sin A formula will be opposite side by hypotenuse. But here, we haven't any value for hypotenuse. Thus, let's assume this uh, hypotenuse in the given figure as AC. Done? Now, Let's find AC to solve sin to find the uh, to find the values of sin A and cos A. As we can solve as AB square plus BC square equals to AC square. Then, as we know, opposite sides opposite side square plus adjacent side square gives hypotenuse square now here we got side square side square plus side square gives what hypotenuse square as a b the value of a b here you have 3 as we can write 3 square plus b c value as they have given 4 square equals to AC square as we can write here and 3 square becomes 9 where 3 into 3 gives 9 plus 4 square gives 14 sorry 4 square gives 16 where 4 into 4 gives what 16 equals to AC square okay now okay when we further simplify it like 9 plus 16 gives 25 equals to AC square. Now, when we transfer this square to the other side, let me write down here, 25 equals to AC square. Done. When we transfer this square to the other side, when we transfer this square to the other side, this becomes root. As we can write root over 25 equals to. So, so the square root of 25 gives 5. At last therefore we got the value of x where x equals to 5. As we can write the value of ac equals to. Equals to what? 
the value of a is equal to 5. Then, by using Pythagoras theorem, we find that we find that a c equals to 5. And now, okay. And now, let's find the value of sin a and cos a. To find sin a, as we know, the formula of sin a gives what opposite side by adjacent side, opposite side by hypotenuse. And cos a formula will be adjacent side by hypotenuse. So opposite to the angle a, opposite to the angle a, you have the bc side where the where the value of bc equals to four. As we can write four by hypotenuse in the given figure will be five. As we can write five over here. And now cos a equals to here adjacent adjacent side to the angle a will be 3 as we know the formula of cos will be adjacent side by hypotenuse so adjacent to the angle a you have 3 and the hypotenuse in the given figure where hypotenuse is ac where ac value gives Five, as we can write. So therefore, let's try. Let's conclude like therefore, the value of sin a equals to four by five, and cos a. And cos A equals to 3 by 3 by done. So hence we we got the value of cos A and sin A where sin A equals to 4 by 5 and cos A equals to 